How about now? Fancy a walk to the town? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to a tavern? Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me inside. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? And just where might that be? Just above the upper gate, a little before you reach Ratai. Well, I don't see why not. But you'll have to try some ale while you're there. I will, I promise. Let's be going then. How are you? I've got some goods here who... All right. <laughs> Let's have a word about the... Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded. Go to taverns a lot, do you? <laughs> Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scallets that time. Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Oh, naturally. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. There's no need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. What sort might that be? All mouth and green eyes. You're such a... Come on then. <laughs> so, here we are. Shall we, uh, shall we order something? Yes, definitely. Uh, <coughs> service? <laughs> ah, a pair of lovebirds. <laughs> what would you like to order? Mm. Is, it, uh, is it right? It's excellent. This ale, there's no better in the province. Mm. You know what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, but, but really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, be brave. No, I've never... Hand on my hip. I, I, I don't even know how. And off we go. But, but really, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing just fine. All right. Oh, All right. It's fine. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> you wore me out. And you said you couldn't dance. How about a dance with a real man? How about you leave me alone and bother someone else? Oh, come on. It's a crime to waste a body like that on a scrawny boy like him. You got tits like a cow in calf. Ah, that's it. I'd like a woman to fight before I fuck her. <laughs> You'll pay for that, boy. My hero. Does it hurt? Oh, you should worry about the other fella. I'm fine. Ow! Of course you are. That's why you wince every time I touch you. You saw him off, though. He wasn't feeling so playful after you'd finished with him. That tickles. Baby. Mm. 
so you'll probably be fine. But try to give your hands some rest. Don't go lifting anything too heavy. Thank you. Can I take you home? <laughs> you never give up. Are you sure you don't need a bit more rest? I can find my own way home. I'll manage those few extra steps. Come on then, hero. I'll give you this. Nights out with you might be painful, but they're never boring. I do my best. <laughs> well, you should go in before Peshek starts fretting. Jesus Christ be praised. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the, the most, winter, but you might be able to help Henry. How? Asparagus for taste and prunes. They're like to be more yet. honest with you, Try so you can find out who's in the, the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. Onions, I'm sure it won't take too long. Dry, you know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask Fresh around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? Sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry, begging your pardon, shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Cabbage, is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Well, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't. But I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Asparagus that'll Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Cucumbers, of course, where else would they get it? Gallows Hill. It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other... carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are... Overflow. Right Sounds no disgusting. Need to be shy. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. God be with you. Bread, fresh bread. bread. Carrots that'll balls, make you balls, and your family happy. Onions you. that'll make... Good day to you. The 
bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook, but I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know... Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Farewell. God be with you. I'd like to ask about our former neighbours. There are jobs here for some of them and I have to pick people. But the bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? But what of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone. And no one wants to do the knacker's job. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. Thanks. I'll go. Good luck, then. from perils only God's blessings are you Agnes who works at St. James I am or I did 
before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. No, oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumours. I'm still his housekeeper. Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. Take care. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am, for all the good it does. The boredom here. The only thing I have to read is the Bible. And the Hanush won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fellow comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. He talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually, talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Baths? I, I need a change of scene before moss starts growing on me. Why to the baths? Well, a hot bath does a man good. <laughs> it does. Which is why you can bath here any time you like. Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry, she's a beauty. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was in love with her. But what about your wound, sir? Well, I won't lie to you, it hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. How much time do you want to spend there? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. Bathing in mud wraps during the day and in the evening. In the evening, fun. What'd you say? Will you join me? Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right, I'll come and join you there. Good luck then. Oh. Good day to you. What do you need? Are you here on account of the water carrying? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. Alright? Fine. I'll ask away. What did you do before this? 
I work for my father. Doing what? But who's your father, anyway? He's... He was Moimir. We had a farm near Scarlet. Really? His farm hands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to taverns. How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. But Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. What happened with Bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I, I want to carry water. That's all? You've nothing more to add? That's what's needed, ain't it? That's enough for now. Take care. God be with you, good sir. You're here about the water carrying? I am. Where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. But ask away. What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winch was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. So I get the job. Uh, we're not finished yet. Are you here because you want to carry water? Well, I'd rather be back in the winch. Turning it so fast I'd make everyone's head spin. But now I want to carry water at least, since there's some money in it. Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying, um, shit. Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to make me, I'll break his legs. And what if I told you that you get double the pay? Didn't I mention something about breaking legs? Y you, you did, but more money. I wouldn't be Tonda the winch anymore. More like Tonda the stench. And how are you holding up? Not very well. I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. But it's not enough. Especially when the dice don't fall in my favour. Sure. And have you tried looking for other work? What for? They'll get the mines running again and I'll have a real man's job. And what about soldiering? That's real man's work, isn't it? It is. And I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked by a horse. Which I once showed to a soldier I fell out with over a game of dice. Only, I'm too smart for soldiering. Mm, no doubt. I heard you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That's the way we do it at the mines. He didn't even really ask me anything anyway. Just mumbled something under his breath. I know everything I need. So, can I go carry water then? Not yet. I'll tell the bailiff and he'll choose. Well, I hope he chooses me. Otherwise, I might be very angry. I'll bear that in mind. Good luck to you. Are you just going to pretend I'm not here? What do you want from me now? What do you want? I want to work. And I heard you're the one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. 
Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me though, so I came here myself. Look, I already have more people than jobs. You're a bit late. But I really need a job. Well, so does everyone else around here. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. Well, if you know how to cook fine food, I could get you a job at the merchant's house. You'd have a nice roof over your head there too. All I've ever cooked is gruel and soup. Nothing fit for nobles. A roof would be grand though. Not so much for me, but for my husband. Is there any way you could arrange it? No. Not unless I lied about your cooking skills. But he'd find out soon enough, and then we'd both be in trouble. What did you do in Scalitz? I was at the silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? God bless. How's it going? You're one of the people interested in work? Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines, and not just in the mines, so... At the mines? So you're a miner? That's right. I worked in the East Shaft, and I hope I'll be working there again. Now that I think of it, have you heard anything from their lordships? When will they open the mines again? I don't know and don't care. I'm not here because of that. I suppose not. How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groschen. It's not easy work though. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock on your knees all day for months on end? There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the knacker? It's a job. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I couldn't go back to mining after that. But it would be twice the pay. The money would help, true enough. But what about afterwards? I don't want to be carrying shit all my life. Look at it this way. You learn double the money in the same time, or the same money in half the time. That's not bad, is it? Well... You have a point. I could get it over and done with quickly, and... Hmm. All right, I'll take it. I suppose it won't kill me. Good. I'm sure you won't regret it. That's enough for now. May the Lord watch over you. What do you need? You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time something good came to decent folk. I agree. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Get your questions for good for nothings. What makes you so deserving? How did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. 
The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in a mine. Just a shaft with a winch. It's hard work carrying water. So is taking care of a mine. It's not quite the same thing, is it? You need brawn to carry water, not brains. I wasn't born a mine owner, you know. I've done my share of hauling. There's also the option of, um, emptying latrines. Are you trying to insult me? That's no job for a decent Christian. True. That's why it pays double. Double, hey? Well, that's not bad, not bad. But, uh, for a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm, double. Hmm. What would you give me if I put in a good word for you? So that's how it is, is it? An honest person can't get a job. Only one who stooped to bribing. Come now. I just want to help. But I'll have my job cut out persuading the bailiff to take you. All right. I don't have anything. But I know the armourer in Sassau. And he'll give you a good price if I have a word with him. Cheap armour might come in handy, all right? Done. Done. As soon as I get the job, come and see me and I'll tell you all about it. That's enough for now. God be with you. Stop! God save me. I need to search you. You hear about the water, Carrion? I, I can haul water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm laborer, then I was a servant, then I fled from Scullitz and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Pickman? That's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Wasser. But they call me Pickman. Is that German? No. It's from when I was in the mines. Digging with a pick. So you're keen on carrying water? I've been keen on it since I got up this morning. And you had another job before this morning, or what? <laughs> no, no. I was just joking. Besides water, you could carry... Um, you could empty latrines. What? Carry shit? <laughs> That'd be a new one for me. No, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. What happened with the bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. That peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. That's enough for now. So, we're agreed then? When do I start working? Look, the bailiff is the one who will decide after I report back to him. So... I might not get the job? I'll be in the shit if I don't. Understand? God be with you. Show me what you've got concealed. Are you deaf? Why? Such are my orders. As you wish. All's well. Mind how you go. Jesus Christ be praised. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided?
So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Good job. Peter, better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Vincent, Moimir's son. Vincent? Never heard of him. What do you think he should do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Where do you want to put him? I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Tonda. They call him the Winch. The Winch? Ought to be good with a bucket anyway. What's he going to do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Vasil. Goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin? I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. No, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? Carrying shit. Can't be done. We've already got enough people for that. Now what? If that's how it is, we'd better pick someone else. And who would that be? Antonia. What? A woman? Yeah, is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk with a heavy load, man's work. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer to me if she can't. Where do we put her, then? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. I'd like to talk to you again about that job. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. God be with you. I could do with a bite to eat. I guess not either there's nothing better to do. What are you staring at? Come now. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favour, Henry. Of course, sir. Good. Well, you'd never think it, but Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite, but maybe you can do better. Right then, you've got to beat Zdena at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his ass on the show. All right. Why the hell not? How about a game of dice, then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? 
Let's see how good you are. God bless. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. May the Lord watch over you. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. All right, why not? Put your clothes in the trunk. Shift over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, just give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Yeah, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cow paps less fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> You certainly know how to have a good time. Here, yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. Uh, not for me. Thank you, sir. What use are you to be sober? Don't be a bore and have a fucking drink. Oh, give it here then. That's the way! You're a man after my own heart. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? Booze and wenches? Of course! Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zdena here is very... healing. Clara! Bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Clara! My most favourite is bath made. But, but admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pit, 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 pitiful. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. Though, where? Ah! I know! In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hanush bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? Well, I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. All right then, what kind of wine is it? 
A sylvan red in the cellar under the rat house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right hand side. Get a picture somewhere and take it with you. I'd like to ask you something about this wine. What is it? What, so I can just go there and take whatever I want? Yeah. No, not exactly. It would be best if no one saw you. Ah, I see. And this wine wouldn't be kept under lock and key by any chance? Um, yes, probably. But that won't stop a clever fella like you, will it? All right. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good, man. out.